Good morning. It is day two of week on farm foods. And remember yesterday when I said that I might not always be able to have food that's farm foods? Well, that's going to be this morning's breakfast. Basil's really angry about it. I'm quite angry about it too. But there's only so much limited stuff that farm foods do breakfast wise. So I'm afraid my day two breakfast is going to be something cobbled together because I want to keep some of the good stuff for later in the week, you see. I don't want to don't want to preload the start of the week with all the good juicy stuff, so to speak. So, time to get some breakfast. And time to give this cat an absolute kicking for trying to ruin my shot. And so this morning, farm foods mixed fruit. There's a banana in there, a bit of strawberry, a bit of raspberry. I did find it strange that there's banana in there. I've got to be honest, you don't normally get banana in these mixed fruit things. Blackberries, blackcurrants, strawberries, banana, raspberry. Why is raspberries italicized? What's wrong with the raspberries in here? I don't know. But with this, I'm going to have just a, a box standard yogurt that I've stolen from Grace. Because farm foods don't do their own yogurt. And it'd be weird to just have a bowl of frozen fruit. So, yeah, let's do this thing. Mmm, not sure about this. The banana, quite questionable looking. Actually, it tastes all right. A little tart, actually. I'm not going to comment on the yogurt because it's an Activia yogurt. It's fine. Fruit, though. Doing some editing this morning. I'm looking quite shocked in this shot. I got shocked and sad, even though it looks like some sort of ad in a, a sex magazine, doesn't it? There we go. Sex magazine. Never thought I'd say that in a week on. Ah, <sighs> feeling hungry. Turns out fruit didn't fill me up very much. Remember that bit yesterday when I said I'm not going to include brands on this week on, like Findus? Well, forget that, because I've got Findus Pizza Pockets. And I'm sure you can forgive me with this one, because I have never seen Findus Pizza Pockets in the UK ever. I mean, it's a pocket of pizza. Surely you can forgive me for wanting to try that. And I'm sure there'll be people in the comments screaming at me that, this has been around for years, Mike. I've had thousands of them. Well, I haven't. I've never seen this before. I mean, it even says it's new, to be honest. So I'm just so excited. So if you did write that in the comments, then sir, uh, more fool you. I could do this in the microwave. It takes two minutes. And I'm hoping that they're quite big because I'm quite hungry. My fruit today has not tied me over whatsoever. What's the damage? So one pocket is 15% of our calories at 304. Ooh, dear, 32% of the salt, 28% saturated. See, it's not just farm food's own products that are loaded with the stuff, but if it's tasty, I may just be able to forgive it. So, let's get it in the microwave. Hmm, interesting. This just looks like a flatbread folded in half. It's not a pocket at all. Ooh, that looks unappetizing, but it smells nice and it's blisteringly hot, so <laughs> let's give it a try. Look at that soggy bottom. Nobody likes a soggy bottom. Hmm, really nice. Cheesy, hammy, not very tomato y, not overly salty. Herby, chewy bread. It's not as big as I would like. It's a lot smaller than the package would suggest. And certainly not as full. But it tastes okay. But then again, it's not farm foods and product, is it? But then again, I did a lot yesterday, so I stopped talking about my fault. I really wish there was more interesting snack-based stuff at Farm Foods because it turns out Pizza Pocket, not all that filling. I could have the other Pizza Pocket, but then again, I've already eaten that. <laughs> so I had two Pizza Pockets for lunch. Don't tell anyone. But that's a hell of a lot of salt currently coursing through my veins, shriveling up my liver and killing me. But it was very nice and I enjoyed it and I would have them again. It was just not very big. So um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just stand here and complain for the rest of the day until it's time to go home and get some dinner. I've even got a watch on. For dinner this evening, I quite fancy 
I don't know, a sub, a sub sandwich? Yeah, okay, I'll go for a sub sandwich. Well, at least I have the meat. Steak Express, sub steaks, tender strips of chopped and shaped pork and beef with additional water. Marvellous. So I'm going to fry these incredibly thin. They look like the kebab from uh, from yesterday. I, I feel like I had things like this back in like the 90s. Frying steaks, we'd call them, from like Morrison's. You'd fry them off and they'd spit fat absolutely everywhere. And they would burn you, but they were delicious. And I'm hoping it's something like that. There are no cheese that I could find. Um, that So that, that's a little bit dis disappointing. But I'm going to introduce a little bit of cheese and probably a little bit of sauce. I don't know. And they're going to go inside a baguette. Farm food, ready to bake baguette. I'm going to cook one of these uh, and just have it... Uh, fill it with some stuff that isn't farm foods, but that is. But that's not all. I can't just have the two farm foods things in this meal. I just showed it in the shots. Spoiling the surprise. Not that it's a great surprise anyway. Farm foods curly fries. Curly potato, potato fries with a seasoned coating. Superb. How long will these take in the oven? 14 to 18 minutes. That ain't bad. Let's see how bad these are for me as well. Oh look, it's 30% 30% pork, 25% beef. So the other 45% is pork rind, beef fat, connective beef, connective tissue. Yum. So, going to get that in the oven, those in the oven, and I'll fry those off. Well, my bread's done and prepared. Going to put some peri peri mayonnaise and a bit of cheese on there. The chips are well, to be honest, they look really good, so genuinely looking forward to those. They are hopefully crisping up nicely. And now I have my pan on the go, and I'm going to put my whatever percent meat <laughs> sheets to fry. Disappointing they didn't make a nice sizzle sound, but, you know, we can live with that. Well, there's a bit of sizzle, but nowhere near the amount I remember these things used to uh, to give off, and especially nowhere near as much fat, so... Maybe my memory is just playing tricks, but it's time to get things served up because everything's just about done. Well, I think this looks pretty good. You had salmon for dinner, didn't you? I did. How was that? It was delicious. They're crunchy. <laughs> yeah, they sound crispy. There was quite a lot of oil on the pan with the chips. Probably why they've gone so crunchy. I think this looks pretty good. Are they like um, Southern Pride flavour or...? Yes. And they're all right. They'll do. And here is my sub. I'm cautiously optimistic with this one, but we'll see. We put cheese in that. Mm-hmm. Oh, the meat. It's so disappointing. It tastes so cheap. I was really looking forward to this. That is so disappointing. It just tastes vaguely meaty, vaguely herby, fairly salty. It's just sad. Ugh. Right, honestly, not filming anymore today because that was quite frankly the most disappointing meal I think I've ever had. I was so looking forward to that. I've got, I love curly fries. I had such great memories of those thin frying steaks and they were gross. And the more and more I ate, the more I realized they, they tasted like the worst cheap sausages you could ever think of. They were gross. Nothing like the frying steaks I remember. Please someone tell me where you can buy them from. Thin, 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 tiny, Thin steaks, uh, beef, not um, bone marrow extract or tendons or whatever the hell that thing said. They were gross. Do not get those. Did not enjoy them one tiny bit. Uh, but what did I enjoy today? Well, I started with my yogurt and fruit. That was fine. Not filling in the slightest. Then I had my pizza pockets that I know they were Fenders, I broke my own rules only on day two, but I, they were new. I got excited, all right, and they were nice. They were fine. And then dinner was, uh, <laughs> didn't like it at all. Oh my God, I'm so sad. I'm hoping tomorrow brings slightly sort of more fruitful results. Fruit being the 
wrong word there, but I've got something for tomorrow night's dinner. And I'm just... I've got similar thoughts like to, to how today's dinner was. I'm so excited for it. It could be delicious. But if today's anything to go by, it could be a disaster. So if you want to find out what that is, please do subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Please ring the bell and all that cool stuff. You can see the rest of this week on early if you support the show on Patreon. And it really does help to keep the channel alive and keep me in awful, awful thin steak. But thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on day three, if I wake up. Thank <laughs> you.